New at 6, St. Joseph County is moving ahead with a massive construction project, spending nearly $1.8 million to hire a firm to design major changes to Douglas Road. WSBT 22's Annie Chang looked into the plan, and Annie, what's included in all of this? Yeah, Rick, this project would look at Douglas Road from Ivy Road all the way here to State Road 23. Now, the plan is to widen the street to four lanes in some parts, including this Ironwood intersection, which has been a trouble area for the county in the past. But this also means homeowners who live near here will have to give up some of their land. Come on. Tim McBride and his wife live on an eight-acre property on the corner of Douglas and Ironwood with their two horses. He's a um, 12-year-old. Tennessee Walker. The property has been in the family for 87 years, and now a portion of it might become part of Douglas Road. McBride admits he's slightly reluctant to give it up. Well, whenever there's change, um, you wonder what else is included. What, what don't I know about it? But at the same time, he says the intersection is dangerous and needs change. There have been fatalities in that. Um, area. It's kind of a failed intersection. It's always been kind of a problematic place, so we're trying to you know, expand that and, and uh, modernize it a little bit. This project is a continuation of what's already been done to Douglas Road, including new construction and new roundabouts. Widening Douglas should help ease rush hour traffic, but at the expense of homeowners. You know, whether it's five feet or 15 feet or 25 feet, uh, depending upon the necessities. McBride says he's not worried about his own property being taken over, but his neighbors might be a different story. Uh, his house is much closer than mine to the street. Uh, he estimated that it's going to go through his kitchen. Now, the commissioners say construction will probably begin sometime in 2016. That will be a different contract entirely. The $1.8 million price tag is paying a company called DLZ to design this whole project. 80% of it will be paid for by the federal government. The rest from county funds. In the studio, I'm Annie Chang, WSBT 22 News.